Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I've got some exclusive footage of the new Wavebreaker map in the battlefield for Naval Strike Expansion. This massive rock that I'm flying over right now actually houses a submarine base, which I'll be showing to you a little bit later. To the exterior of this map, we have a lot of little capture points and rock island bases, all of which have different amenities such as helicopter spawns, boat spawns, stationary rocket launcher emplacements. All in all, they look like they're going to be fun little areas to fight around. Attack boats are certainly going to be a massive threat in this map. Even though the map is called Wave Breaker, the waves themselves aren't particularly intense, so that's going to be nice for trying to be a little bit more precise with your boat uh, navigating and gunning, but... There's so many rocks and obstacles in the water that you're really going to need to be on your toes and actually get good at driving boats to get around this map quickly. It's going to be great for boat versus boat combat as there's going to be a lot of cover and ways to maneuver and outflank your enemy. Each side starts with its own aircraft carrier in carry assault mode. Obviously the objective is to destroy the other team's aircraft carrier, but the carriers launch a variety of vehicles from helicopters to airplanes to boats depending on what kind of game mode you're playing. Now inside of this massive rock here is the submarine base, which is certainly one of the coolest features of this map. There's four different water openings, all of which are big enough to fit a scout helicopter, potentially an even larger helicopter, although I haven't tried that out yet. In the center is a massive submarine, which is actually part of a Levolution event. You'll see that there's some supports below the submarine, and if most of these supports are taken out, it will come crashing down. RPGs, grenade launcher, C4, all seem to be powerful enough to take out a support. Internally, the submarine base is huge and provides a great looking area for infantry firefights. Boats and ribs and even, as you can see, the scout helicopter can enter in through the canal areas, but they're going to have very limited maneuverability, so they're going to be very easy targets for RPGs and C4. There's three capture points on the main island, one in the dead center and two on the outskirts. This means in a conquest version of the map or any version where you can spawn on the capture points, it's going to facilitate a pretty intense infantry fight throughout the entire round in the center area of the map. Each of the four water entry points have doors that can be opened and closed by infantry preventing vehicles from entering or exiting. This can be a really awesome strategy, especially for obliteration game mode, and it's going to have that sort of effect of people needing to get out of their boats or armor in order to gain access to certain areas of the map. I think DICE actually did a great job of providing a mixed layout of combat on this map. If you don't want to play in boats all day, you can stay inside of the sub base and do infantry combat. And if you want to just work on vehicular combat and naval warfare, then you can stay outside of the base and focus on other vehicles and helicopters. Visually, Wavebreaker is a very impressive map. There's lots of wet, shiny textures, water dripping from the ceiling. The rocks jutting out from the ocean outside look incredibly realistic. I have to give the level designer some serious credit as they are taking the visuals of Battlefield 4 to the next level. If you haven't already, check out the other three videos I launched today showcasing each of the maps from the new Naval Strike expansion. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.